What's up, world? It's your man Dominic D. Hargrove here, Slight Edge Performance Program. Quick video for you three reasons to keep a positive mental outlook. I know many times when we talk about being positive, having a positive mental attitude, you know, guys, that is really true. I was just talking to a, a guy here and uh, I was like, it should be a good night tonight. He was like, every night's a good night. And you know what? He kind of checked me because it's all it's really all about checking your attitude because your imagination does create reality. When we talk about faith, when we talk about the law of attraction, when we talk about programming and organizing our subconscious mind, when we talk about consciousness, when we talk about conscious intentional awareness, we're talking about taking ownership of this thing on our shoulders, this brain, this our minds, our mind, soul, spirit complex. And growing up, <coughs> I always, you know, I had great mentors in my life, great teachers in my life. And they were great because not only did they accomplish success, but they were great. And I saw them as great because they helped other people accomplish success. And positive mental attitude, attitude is everything, is what I grew up to and what I've grown to know true. And that's why I shoot my videos. That's why I created Slight Edge Performance Program. My target is student athletes, professional athletes, both former and current, because my background is athletics, playing sports, playing football, playing college uh, football, uh, getting the scholarship to play college football, and then going into elite training for athletes, going into to training professional athletes and helping guys go to college. In that process was an educational process for me. Even in my process, in my journey of uh, becoming a professional athlete, having an NFL Pro Day in 2010, and uh, eventually just having a professional career helping athletes. Because once an athlete, always an athlete. And this, my videos are not just for athletes, but just people who want to be an elite individuals. I believe everyone is an athlete because when it comes to walking and running and doing uh, push-ups, functional movements and fitness and health, we all want to participate in that. So anyway, I was talking to a friend about the importance of keeping a positive mental attitude, keeping a positive mental outlook, because guys, our imagination creates reality. What you feel, what you say, what you think, what you do with emotion, you manifest. And what we talk about, the law of attraction, manifesting our destiny, we're talking about being conscious intentional and aware of what we're thinking conscious intentional aware of how we're using our thoughts how we're using our memories that our thoughts and our memories should serve us that our brain capacity our mental faculty should serve us and others in a positive way so keeping a positive mental outlook is so key because we got to be conscious and intentional and aware of what we're manifesting what we imagine with emotion with feeling what we say what we think what we do with emotion what with feeling we manifest and we we need to be conscious intentional and aware of that process the second reason to keep a positive mental outlook is that positive mental attitude is a magnet keeping a positive mental attitude is like a magnet remembering your desire into place I like to talk about the concept of reverse imagineering, thinking from the place of your assumed already accomplished desire, dreaming from the place, feeling from the place, acting from the place, taking action from the place, imagining from the place, praying from the place, meditating from the place, from the feeling, from the resonance, from the vibration of your assumed already accomplished desire. It's a, it's a form of what I call reverse imagineering. And so it's, it's actually a couple of uh, Bible scriptures that I, I used to read when I was younger and I, I've gained more understanding about now when we talk about the law of attraction, believing, becoming. One of the scriptures, look it up, Google it for yourself. Whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe you already received those things and you should have them. And that, that stuck out to me. Right? We're going to talk more about that. It stuck out to me. Then another one says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, 
the evidence of th things not seen. So the first one is saying, whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, when you meditate, when you make your request known to God, you believe you already received those things. In your mind, tell yourself a story, play yourself a story of what it would feel like if that was true, if you had already accomplished it, if you had already achieved it, then put the action in, put the work in, but your your positive mental attitude is going to act like a magnet remembering your desire together, like a puzzle, like a magnet zoof, remembering your desire into place. That's a good way to see it, guys. Keeping a positive mental attitude. I mean, if you're going to take the same energy to think about something negative that it would be to think about something positive. It takes the same energy and emotion to think about something that is going to take a value away from you and that's going to be negative and things that's not going to serve you and bring value to you. It takes the same energy to think about negative things than it, it takes to have a positive mental outlook, a positive mental attitude. So we know that our imagination creates reality. We also know that a positive mental attitude serves us like a magnet, helping us to remember, kind of like in a reverse imagineering process, remember what you are imagining, remember what you are conjuring up the feeling as if you already achieved it and taking action behind it to manifest it. It's like a magnet, guys. And so being conscious, intentional, aware of that will leads me to my third reason to keep a positive mental outlook is to remember to speak from that place, to feel from the place of your assumed, already accomplished desire. That's actually your prayer. That's actually how you pray by thinking from the place, acting from the place, working from the place, and the feeling of your assumed, already achieved goal. Dominique D. Hargrove, send me your email to IamTheSlightEdge at gmail.com. Don't forget to go to my website, IamTheSlightEdge.com. Order you some double X. I take Neutralite double X every day. I recommend it to all my student athletes, pro athletes, all my elite people out there who want to communicate optimal health to your body, even at the cellular level, all right, and to, and, and to, to really live that optimal health life to get all the faculties working together, guys. Dominique D. Hargrove, peace.